What's the difference between a French press and an Aero press for making great coffee? And which one is right for you? Let's talk about that today on FrenchPressCoffee.com. Quickly, let's talk about the usage of both of these. It's real straightforward. We talked about them before. The AeroPress is super simple to use. Fill your brew chamber with hot water and coffee. Make sure there's a paper filter down here and then wait a little bit and press. Boom, you've got awesome tasting coffee. French press, about the same thing. Make sure to fill it up with coffee and water. Pop your press on top, wait a little bit and then press down. Boom, awesome tasting coffee. The French press has been around for centuries. It's a press as well, as I was just demonstrating, but it relies on coffee immersion. The AeroPress is more of a modern innovation and a very modern way of making coffee. It relies on heat and pressure to give you a great cup of coffee. So whereas the French press relies on immersion, meaning that the coffee is going to sit and soak and steep, with the AeroPress, you're gonna get some of that, but you're also adding pressure in order to get your great cup of coffee. French presses offer a multitude of different designs, and you can see I've got a lot of these here, and you can check all these out at frenchpresscoffee.com, of course, including the AeroPress. But French presses are going to offer you a lot of different design options. There's ceramic options, there's stainless steel options, there are glass options, there are portable options, all kinds of ways of making coffee with a French press. The AeroPress is a single design. This is the AeroPress, and this is the only AeroPress at the making of this video that you're going to find in this one design. Portability. Now, when I travel, I like to take an AeroPress. And the reason for that is that this is super simple. It's this one piece, maybe a couple of other things, and obviously my coffee, but this is super easy to carry around. I don't have any problems with the TSA going through security. I can pop it in my bag. I can use it in my hotel room. It's super, super easy to carry around with me. I would not travel with a glass French press. You just, you wouldn't do that. It would not end up working. Now you can travel with a French press, but there aren't many options. There is uh, the portable option like this S-Pro, which is a portable French press that you could make use of. So you do have portability options in both of these two different ways of making pressed coffee. It just kind of depends on what you like the most. I love the AeroPress, but a portable option like the S-Pro is a really great way to go as well. Cost, the one that everyone's always gonna wonder about, right? Well. French presses really differ in cost when you come right down to it. You can get a French press for as low as around 15 bucks, and they can go up to as high as even the $200 mark, whereas the AeroPress is a standard price of around $30, plus of course some of the accessories you could get for it, paper filters, extra paper filters, a metal filter, things like that, um, but it's a pretty locked price. And again, you can get all of these different options at frenchpresscoffee.com, so that's an easy way for you to price out what might fit your budget best. Cup and brew size. Now, French presses, obviously, are made typically for brewing more coffee. Uh, I'm gonna be able to brew a lot more coffee with a French press then I'm going to brew with an AeroPress, and AeroPress is a single serve option. Now that doesn't mean that you can't easily make multiple cups of coffee with an AeroPress. I do this, again, all the time when I travel, uh, because often I'm traveling maybe with other folks, and I'm gonna make a lot of cups of coffee. That's very easy to do with an AeroPress, but again, I need to do it one after the other after the other. With a French press, you can simply make one, and boom, you've got coffee for you know, potentially three to four to five people, depending on how much coffee they're going to drink. Now, what about customizing that brew? Well, French presses are a little bit locked in when it comes to the way that you're gonna brew. Remember, they use immersion, and it's pretty much the same brew process for just about any French press. The AeroPress allows you to customize a little bit more. Uh, you can customize what you're going to be brewing and how you're going to be brewing it. It's gonna change the extraction, it's gonna change the flavor a little bit because you're using pressure and heat. Whereas again, with the French press, you're talking about immersion and just simply waiting in order to get the perfect cup of coffee. So if you wanna customize things a little bit more, uh, again, with how much you're going to be brewing, 
the strength of it, things along those lines. The AeroPress is gonna let you do that. French press, a little bit more limited. Still give you a great cup of coffee, but a little more limited on options. And additionally, with an AeroPress, you can play with your grind types a lot more. Experiment with the grind type, that can change the flavor of your coffee and of course the extraction of your coffee. With a French press, remember, you're pretty locked into the grind type that you're going to use. You don't wanna change that too much because that could really greatly affect the quality of the coffee that you'll get out of a French press. And remember, the biggest factor here is the pressure of extraction. You can brew your coffee faster with an AeroPress. You can get a cup of coffee in just under one minute that is going to allow you to get a uh, less bitter and perhaps less strong cup of coffee, but you can customize a little bit more. Filtered versus unfiltered. Now, the AeroPress uses paper filters by default, and that means that you're going to filter out more of the coffee oils, more of the sediment, and potentially you're going to get, again, a more even cup of coffee. You also get more filter types with an AeroPress. You can use paper, you can use metal, and you can use a couple different types of metal filters. All of these are going to affect the flavor profile of your coffee. Whereas with a French press, you can't really use uh, a filter. Now you do, of course, have filters built into your French press. Typically those are the wire mesh filters that you'll use for filtering the coffee out. But you don't usually use paper filters, which allow you to cut down on coffee oils Unless, of course, you use a hack, we've done videos uh, that show you how to do that here on FrenchPressCoffee.com, but in its standard setup, a French press is not going to filter coffee as well as the AeroPress. Beverage variety. Now, you definitely get a wider variety of beverages that you can make with an AeroPress, because in addition to coffee, you can make espresso-style drinks as well as lattes, Americanos, and teas, and you can do all of that just with your AeroPress. With the French press, you're basically going to be making, of course, French press coffee, and you can also make tea, but you're not really going to have those other options such as making espresso style and lattes and things along those lines, not with the ease of use that you get with an AeroPress. What about ease of use? The AeroPress is going to be a little hard to use at first. You're gonna to have to get used to it, but with some practice, you'll be your own home barista and you'll be making all kinds of great coffee drinks. It's actually super simple to use, and we've got videos that show you how to use it, so you can make sure to check those out on frenchpresscoffee.com. The French press, again, gonna take a little bit of practice. You need to be very careful about the grind that you're using, the temperature of your water, how long you're going to let your coffee steep, things along those lines, but again, with practice, you'll still get a great cup of coffee. Both of these, easy to use with a little bit of practice, they're not necessarily options that right out of the box you may catch on to very quickly, but remember, we've got plenty of tips for you in our videos here at FrenchPressCoffee.com. Time to brew, which is really important. How quickly can you get that cup of coffee and get on the road? Well. <laughs> The AeroPress is gonna be the easiest way to get a cup of coffee very quickly. It can take less than one minute to make a cup of coffee with the AeroPress. Whereas with the French press, you're looking at around three to four minutes. So if you're in a big rush, but you still want that really awesome cup of coffee, the AeroPress will be a great way to go. If you can wait just a little bit more, you don't mind waiting, go with the French press as well, and you'll get a great cup of coffee. Now what about cleanup? Because that's always very important. The AeroPress hands down will always be easier to clean than the French press. When you are done, you just pop out the spent coffee and filter and you're basically done. Wash this out with a little bit of water, finished. French press takes a little bit longer. It's a little harder to clean up, but we do give you an awesome hack on how you can more easily clean up your French press and you can find that here on our channel. Durability between these two options is gonna differ a little bit. Glass with your French press, let's face it, could be a little less durable. It's glass and we've all broken something at one time or another and you can't really carry this around with you and if you did, you would probably end up breaking it. The AeroPress is made of plastic, it's really super durable and it's probably gonna last you a lifetime. But there are options in the French press world that will last you a lifetime as well, such as ceramic French presses, stainless steel French presses, pretty hard to break these and all of these options with a little bit of care, a little bit of love are going to last you a lifetime. 
The taste profile between these two is definitely going to differ a little bit. With an AeroPress, you're going to get a less bitter cup of coffee. The even extraction and not having to use as much heat is definitely going to give you, typically, a little bit more smooth cup of coffee. If you're looking for that strong, really robust, hearty cup of coffee, a French press is definitely going to give that to you. It's going to keep more of those aromatic oils in that cup of coffee because, again, using a paper filter in the AeroPress is going to filter those oils out a lot more. Uh, the French press is not going to filter those oils out by default, so you're going to get definitely a much stronger, more robust cup of coffee out of the French press. And you will get a cleaner cup of coffee with an AeroPress, again, because of that paper filter, but if you want a more French press style cup of coffee out of an AeroPress, use a metal filter, which will not filter out those oils as much and give you a little bit more of that flavor profile that you would usually get out of a French press. And the bottom line when we are comparing a French press versus the AeroPress is really going to be this. The French press is super simple, quick and easy to use, going to give you a great cup of coffee that potentially is going to be, again, a more clean cup of coffee, less oils, less bitter, going to give you much more even extraction because, again, you are pressing that coffee down and you are extracting that when you're pressing your AeroPress down. So it's going to be a little more even and it's going to give you definitely more beverage options, a little more variety there. Whereas with the French press, it's tried and true. We always know that we're going to get a great cup of coffee out of French press. If you want a really robust, hearty cup of coffee, you'll get that out of a French press. If you want to be able to make more than one cup of coffee, French press is the way to go. Because remember, AeroPress is basically a single serve option. And of course, the French press, again, it's just, it's tried and true. We always know that it's going to make a great cup of coffee and there's a lot of variety when it comes down to the type of French presses. Whereas with an AeroPress, you've only got the one option and it is single serve. And it's a lot harder to clean up a French press than it is an AeroPress. So for comparing the two, I would say, as I say with a lot of these things, I would like to have both because depending on eh, how you're feeling for the day, what kind of coffee you want, or maybe you're traveling, or you want ease of use, or you need a cup of coffee faster, or you just really want a really strong cup of coffee, or you have a bunch of people at your house, etc. Both of these offer really good options to answer those needs for you. So remember guys, it just comes down to what you want. As always, taste is subjective. Your specific wants for coffee are going to be subjective, but this video was just to show you the differences between these two and some of the pluses, some of the minuses, some of the things that will help you when you're choosing one of these, because remember, you can go to frenchpresscoffee.com and you can find out how you can add all of these to your own at-home coffee shop. So did you like that video? Well, if so, give us a like, maybe subscribe to our channel. And if you do, I'll give you a great coffee quote. Okay, I'll wait. There you go. Thank you so much. And now for the great quote, caffeine, it's not a drug, it's a vitamin.